Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. In this video, I am going to talk about on the 3D anatomy of the clavicle. So, before discussing the anatomy of the clavicle, there are some features that are specific to the clavicle, and uh, I am going to tell you the features of the clavicular bone. So, the another name for the clavicle is the cooler bone. And it is the only long bone that lies horizontally in our body. This is the only long bone that lies horizontally in our body. You can see over here. Oh, and it is the mostly fractured bone in our body. It's about 6 inches long, which is about 15 centimeter. So, going to the anatomy of the clavicle, uh, you can see over here. It has got the two ends. One end is uh, here on the lateral, and the other is end is here. This is the medial end of the clavicle, and this is the lateral end of the clavicle. You can see over here. This medial end of the clavicle is also called a sternal end, and this lateral end of the clavicle is also called a acromial end. So you can see over here, this medial end is little bit quadrangular. It is contra-angular and this lateral end is flat from above downward. You can see over here it is flat from above downward. So this medial end is articulated here to be of the sternum. So this is articulated here through a facet. This facet and the medial end of the clavicle is called a sternal facet and uh, uh, here there is a facet on the manubrium of the sternum you can see over here this facet is called a clavicular facet so this uh, from a joint this joint is called a sternoclavicular joint now the lateral end or the acromial end of the clavicle has also got a facet you can see over here this facet is articulated here this is the acromial process of the scapula you can see over here and it articulated here in this case the, the clavicle is articulated here through a joint which is called a clavicular joint now you can see over here the scapula is divided into three regions one is the medial end the other is the lateral end and this is the shaft of the clavicle the medial end and the lateral end i have discussed while the shaft of the clavicle um, and i am going to discuss the anatomy of the shaft of the clavicle so the shaft of the clavicle is about six inches long and uh, it has got the two region one is the medial two third this is the you see the medial region of the clavicle it is the longest you can see over here it is the longest and it is narrow and it is thick from above downward you can see over here it is thick from above downward a grew on the inferior surface of the um, medial region of the clavicle this grew is called a subclavian group it provides insertion to the subclavian muscle and uh, there is another impression here on the inferior surface of the medial region of the clavicle this impression is called a costoclavicular ligament impression it provide attachment to the costoclavicular ligament the border is convex anteriorly you can see over here it is convex anteriorly while the posterior is concave posteriorly you can see over here it is concave posteriorly now going to the lateral region of the clavicle the lateral region form the one third of the shaft of the clavicle it has got the two surfaces one is a superior surface the other is inferior surface you can see over here this is the inferior surface there is a line uh, that uh, goes on the inferior surface of the clavicle this line is called a trapezoid line this is the trapezoid line i'm going to zoom it this line is called trapezoid line the inferior surface of the lateral one third of the shaft of the clavicle there is a tubercle you can see over here this 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 tubercle is called a conoid tubercle now if you see the lateral 
region of the shaft of the clavicle it is concave interiorly while it is convex posteriorly you can see over here it is convex it is you can see over here it is convex posteriorly and this is the opposite of the medial to third of the and this is the opposite of the sternal region of the clavicle which was convex anteriorly and concave posteriorly now the area around uh, here provide attachment for the for the capsule of the acromio clavicular joint now what are the function of the clavicle there are three main function of the clavicle it provide a rigid support from which the scapula this is the scapula and uh, here the upper limb is here so it provide a rigid support from which the scapula in the upper limb is suspended now if you see the uh, the clavicle the clavicle is attached here to the scapula through the acromioclavicular joint and uh, to the scapula the humerus is attached this keep upper limb away from the thorax so it provide a greater range of movement to the upper limb in the third function of the clavicle is it transmit the physical forces from the upper limb to the axial skeleton in the axial skeleton in the clavicular skeleton i have already discuss it and you can find the link of this two video in my description of this video so this was all about on clavicular anatomy for more video subscribe like and share in the next video we'll discuss the sternoclavicular joint and the acromioclavicular joint so thanks for watching the video